there, there does appear now that money is the only arbiter uh, in the class system. But uh, the class system is, uh, let's call it the hierarchy, uh, always exists. And you, you see that in any social group. If you're an American, you see that in school, you see that in high school, you see that in college, and you see that in the office. So it's just there. And, and basically what it is is there are personalities that dominate over other personalities. The, uh, uh, the people who we re always regarded as old wealth now regard themselves as not having very much money at all. I mean, I hear people say, well, she doesn't have that much money. She only has 30 million or she only has 50 million or he only has 40 million. A woman I know told me she felt she was very middle class. She only had 10 million. Uh, I, I didn't ask her how much she had, but she was telling me about she was so astounded and awed by the wealth around her that she realized that she was middle class. And I said, actually, you know that you're just deluded because I don't I think a one million is a lot. I don't have anything near that myself. It's 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 kind of all funny money time. And so um, the people who have the old wealth, who were once considered very wealthy, are just in terms of numbers, not as wealthy anymore. But their point of view about wealth is often very, very different from the people who have new wealth, who have acquired it very quickly. Thank you.